We believe that work can be a form of Christian discipleship and a blessing to the world. So a couple years ago, VM Missions formed a Business for Transformation subsidiary. Let's call it our B4T board. To foster businesses that bless their communities, especially those least reached by the good news of Jesus. Christian-led businesses can create just employment and sustainable economic growth, even as they invite spiritual transformation through the gospel. Countries closed to traditional witness are often open to entrepreneurs, yet there are still many barriers to success. That's where our B4T board can help. We help leaders experienced in business, management, marketing, and lending to come alongside new entrepreneurs as they develop business plans, seek startup loans, and receive coaching for long-term success. Here are a few stories from our launch into this work. In the fall of 2019, a group of us representing V Emissions Ministry in Business for Transformation, or B4T, visited the Balkans and Western Asia to meet with national believers who are also interested in business as kingdom blessing and witness. In one country, the local Christians shared with us both a problem and an opportunity. The problem was the lack of preschools that did not include education in the predominant religion of their country. And the opportunity was a market interest in preschools staffed by English-speaking teachers. These two things converged in what is now a for-profit bilingual preschool. And while not explicitly Christian, the school teaches from a biblical worldview. Last fall, the Emissions B4T subsidiary loaned this preschool $10,000 to get started. And this fall, the school is fully staffed with 32 students, nearly the benchmark needed to become a sustainable kingdom enterprise. My name is Lazar, and I'm living in Montenegro, ex-Yugoslavia. I'm 44 years old, and uh, yeah, I have a little shop um, doing iron, fitter welder, and that's how I earn money for living. It's very hard to trust uh, uh, ex-addicted people because we did a lot of things, a lot of bad things during our addiction, uh, stealing, robbing, whatever, you know, a lot of bad things. I recognize uh, the most helpful thing uh, for these people is trust. No one trusts them, you know. So what we try to do here in my shop as a ministry to really give, him, give them a trust. Okay, I trust you. Uh, you can have keys from my house when I go somewhere to do something, uh, take care of my house, or, you know. Uh, that's, that's something what helped them a lot so they can feel uh, accept. Uh, which community really don't give. I did lose hope many times in these 10 years of my ministry and I would uh, yeah, call our leaders and tell them, I'm done, I'm, I'm done, I cannot do it anymore. And then next day somebody else come, come back from rehab center and my heart, heart is so warm for that guy and I cannot leave him alone and I would call him and that's how it, that's how, that's how I recognize that this call is from God. I couldn't stop it, I even tried. God teached me one thing. That one man, one soul, it's huge. It's huge. Sometimes I would like to see uh, 20, 30, or 50 people stay and, and uh, follow Jesus Christ. It's out of 50 of them, that is five. And God says, good, <laughs> you know, good. Five people are saved. 